Hello, my name is Jeff Lehman, for those of you who do not know me. For a short devotional today, I'd like to take a look at Psalm 23. I'm sure most of you know this psalm, probably know it by heart. Uh, it's, it's a psalm that has taken on a new meaning for me, especially verse 2, but uh, let me read it at this time. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Verse 1 says, The Lord is my shepherd. If the Lord is my shepherd, that makes me his sheep. And this verse is saying, if I follow the shepherd like a sheep follows a shepherd, I shall have lack of nothing. I shall not want. The Lord has promised to supply all of our needs. Verse 2, David says, He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. When we think of green pastures, we think of a lush, beautiful meadow with tall green grass. But my wife and I and her family just recently visited uh, Israel, and our guide there pointed out that is not what this psalm is referring to. If you take a look at this picture, you'll see mostly rocks in this picture. Little clumps of grass here and there, but mostly rocks. And this is what David was referring to when he said, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. There's just enough green, there's just enough grass around each of these rocks that sheep can walk through and they can graze and they can have their needs supplied, their needs met. And David is saying, I'm going to trust the shepherd to lead me to these little crump, clumps of grass and to supply my needs on a daily basis. I'm not going to worry about tomorrow and what the future holds. I'm just going to trust the shepherd today to lead me. The shepherd has my best interest in mind, so I'm going to trust him to lead me where he would have me to go. And also in verse 2, it says, He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. It's very interesting. I also just learned recently that a sheep will not lie down until it's comfortable, until it feels safe. And David is saying, he maketh me to lie down. The Lord comforts us and takes care of us in our time of need so that we can feel comfortable, we can feel secure, and we can feel trust, uh, we can trust him, and we can... Um, lie down, we can relax, knowing that He will take care of us and supply our needs. Even if He has to take us through the valley of the shadow of death, our Lord knows, our Shepherd knows what is best for us. Let's follow Him. I pray that that would be your testimony today, that you can follow the Shepherd wherever He leads and feel secure and safe, knowing that He will lead us to just enough to get us through till tomorrow. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, Lord, we come before you today. Lord, we thank you for today. Thank you for health and strength. Lord, I just pray that uh, as each of us go through the day today, that we would trust in you, that we would lean on you, that we would uh, realize that you will supply our needs. You will lead us to just enough to get us through till tomorrow. And, and tomorrow you'll do the same thing to get us through till the next day. Lord, I just pray that uh, you be with us today. Help us, Lord, to not to worry about what the future holds, not to um, be anxious about tomorrow, but trust in you for today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.